Hey everyone and welcome to see out. In this tutorial we will see how we can use 3ds Max Pro Cutter located under compound objects to break or prefragment a mesh or a poly object which we will use later on in a destruction scene or some other sort of VFX scene. Well there are options in 3ds Max like Ray Fire volume breaker or some other plugins which can do the job more easily but they also put some pressure on either you on your boss pocket so there are free options and pro cutter is one of them so here's a pillar which i modeled in 3ds max using loft and the geometry is uh, not that fine so this is also a challenge to use a geometry which is not that perfect. So before fragmenting any object it is always a good idea to STL check to see whether the geometry has some errors or not like open edges, breaking vertices or like that because they can give you some tough time pre-fragmenting your objects like give you errors or things like that. So I have selected the geometry. I am going to check it using STL check it is STL check and here I will just click the check button so the status is showing that the geometry is refined and has no errors but let me show you a little example like if you have a vertex which is let me break it now the vertex is one but in fact there are two vertices sitting here like this it has open edges so when we are going to check this object STL check and check oops you got error and here it is also highlighting the error so it's always a good idea to check your object which is going to be used later on in your pro cutter so let me control Z my geometry is ready for prefragmentation. So to use Pro Cutter, we need two objects. We need cutter objects and we need stock objects. We are going to use a plane as a cutter object. So let's add a plane. I'm going to make the length segments and width segments to one by right clicking this option. And this is my first cutter object. Now make sure that the cutter object is intersecting the stock object in all dimensions like it should not be intersect like this because it is not covering the whole mesh. So when you are going to use this cutter for this object you may get unstable results. So your cutter always intersect the mesh as a whole. So let me add some other cutters like I have pressed shift and drag to copy on the z-axis. Let me go to the front viewport or maybe okay maybe left viewport. I am pressing G to disable my grid. Select both and select another copy like maybe this. So you can see I am just copying and pasting the cutter objects like this. Okay, let me select one. I will copy it, rotate it like this. Some other pieces maybe like this. I want to get some more resolution here okay I think I have many objects right now so let's do pro cutter now in order to use pro cutter just select one cutter object I am going to select plane compound objects pro cutter now before doing anything you need to check some options these two options should be checked and stock inside cutter should also be checked. Now I'm going to pick all the cutter objects. 
let's select all the planes all the planes and pick you will get all the planes here these are all cutter objects now I'm going to pick the stock object like this and after some time oh you can see that I got the pieces I'm going to delete all of my cutter objects like I am selecting all the cutter objects and delete and here I get pieces so you can see so you can see that our cylinder has fragments of different sizes let me select all change the color and right now you can see that all the objects has pivot point in the wrong position all have the same pivot point so to correct this select all the objects in the hierarchy panel just affect pivot only and center to object once you get all object pivots in the center you need to reset X form reset selected and convert to editable poly once more so you can see that all the pieces or fragments have their pivot in their center which is what we want so you can see that we have used pro cutter using planes and our pillar to prefragment our object now these fragments can be used in different ways like we can select all objects we can use physics let me make all the objects rigid bodies and in the physics toolbar let me see what it does oops so you see we got our simulation there so so this is how we can use pro cutter and use the fragments using physics or some other methods uh, sticking to my subject let me reopen my scene here is my object okay I am going to use loft so I am again converting it to editable poly select all let me do it like okay smooth and here you got your pillar so using pro cutter you can use some stylized cutting also like I am going to use a plane like this and I am arranging it like this here like this here and I am going to copy it here so this is some sort of stylized fragmentation so I will select one of my cutter objects in this case my plane and I am going to go to compound objects pro cutter check these options check stock inside cutter and pick my other plane objects stock object like this and you get that stylized fragmentation so you can see that I got four pieces like this so pro cutter can also be used for stylized fragmentation where you want more control uh, which other plugins are not going to give you so let me reopen my scene uh, I have to convert it to a little poly bear it with me some other options as far as our cutter objects are concerned we can add some detail to our cutter objects 
I am going to use noise on Z axis. I am going to use it as fractal like this. Convert to editable poly, and I will use this object as my cutter object. So my fragments will be more detailed like this. You can use as many cutter objects as you want. So I'm going to select my cutter object. Compound objects, pro cutter, select two options, stock inside, and pick cutter objects like this. Pick stock object, and you will get in a moment some. I'm going to delete my cutters. And you can see that I have some detailed fragmentation. Which was not possible without using noise on my cutter objects. So Pro Cutter is really powerful when it comes to fragmenting your objects in a more accurate way. So try Pro Cutter yourself and if you want to ask any questions do ask me on my website cgroute.com you can also download the source files of the scene from my website also so use it and get the results 